Hello grade 2, welcome to our class and before we start, let us play, pray close your eyes, bow your head and fold your hands let's pray our most gracious and kind Heavenly Father thank you so much Lord for this day please help us with our review today please send us your understanding and the knowledge that comes from above so that we can understand our lessons and we can remember everything thank you for our food for our family for our friends and classmates and for our teachers thank you for this day and for the forgiveness of our sins in jesus name we pray amen okay guys welcome to our math review so we have here the visualizing a number using bundle of sticks so we have here the one stick and then and the other one is a group which means a 10 sticks and another bundles we have 100 sticks so we are gonna use this sticks to count numbers so for example we have here three bundles of 100 sticks four bundles of 10 sticks and five sticks okay so we have 100 200 300 and then the other one 10 20 30 40 and then we have here 1 2 3 4 5 so we have 300 plus 40 plus 5 is equal to 345 now another example we have one bundles of 100 we have 1 2 3 4 5 so we have 500 very good what about this one the by 10 10 20 okay so we have 20 and the ones here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have 500 plus 20 plus 6 is equal to 526 okay in your exam you are gonna um, there's an example of like this and you are going to count okay so don't forget it's multiple choice okay but now let's go to our skip counting by 10 we have let's skip count by 10 ready go 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 okay so let's practice we have here 60 70 80 blank 100 what could be the answer here what's the answer ready think five four three two one can you please say your answer very good the answer is wait the answer is 90 okay next we have 2 12 22 42 blank 42 and then blank what could be the answer ready think five four three two one can you please say the answer for this one very good what about this one very good the answer is 32 and 52 okay it's it remember it is a skip count by 10 now let's go to our 50 50 100 150 200 250 300 okay po so let's practice 50 blank 150 200 blank what is the answers here ready think 5 4 3 2 1 what is the answer can you please say for this one very good what about this one yeah you are correct it is 100 and 250 next what about here 350 400 blank blank and then 550 okay it's skip count by 50 ready think 5 4 3 2 
one. Can you please say your answer? That's right. What about here? Correct. The answer is 450, then 500. Okay, pa. Now, let's go to our 100. Skip count by 100. So, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and the last is 1,000. So, remember this one and let's skip count. 200 blank, 400 500 blank. Okay, can you please think of the answer? Ready? Go. Think. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What is the answer here? That's right. What about here? There you go. The answer is 300 and then 600. Okay, now for number 2 practice, we have here 700 blank 900 blank what is the answer ready think five four three two one okay what is the answer here after 700 it is correct and then here after 900 it is correct okay so we have 800 and 1,000. Okay? So, that's our lesson about skip counting. Now, let's go to our place value. So, we have here 358. Okay po? So, we have 3 bundles of 100s here. It is 300. The 5 bundles of 10. So, we have 50. And 8, 1. So, we have 300 plus 50 plus 8 is equal to 358 this one the upper 358 the 8 is ones the second number from the right it is tens and the number 3 will be hundreds again ones tens hundreds again number 8 is the ones number 5 is the tens and number 3 is the Hundred. Okay, now I have here the place value and the value. Remember the place value and the value. So I gave you an example already. So we have here the one with underline is tens, right? Because ones, tens. Okay, the seven is tens. And the value of seven here is seventy. Okay, two hundred seventy six. Okay, so the value is 70. Now, please get your paper or whiteboard and answer this one. What is the place value of 7 here? Of 7 in 367. Write the place value and the value. I will give you 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, if you're not yet done, just pause the video. So those who are done, let us check your work. The seven is ones. The place value of seven is ones. And the value is only seven. Now let's go to our last example. 785. What is the place value of seven? in 785 and what is also the value of 7 in 785 you can get your paper again or whiteboard to write your answer ready i'll count 1 to 10 go Okay, if you are not yet done, you can pause the video. So, the answer is hundreds and the value is 700. Okay, who got it correct? Very good. And now, let's go to our writing the 
number in standard form and word form. So this is how to write in standard form the numbers and then the word form is the right number in words. So the standard form here is 2,462 and the word form is 2,462. Okay, remember standard form is the numeral number and then the word form is that words. Okay, pa? Now, let's get your whiteboard and paper again and please write the number in standard form. 315. 315. Ready? Write. I'll count 1 to 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Show your answer. That's right. The answer is 315 or 315. Next one, please write 675. 675. Please write. I'll be count in standard form again. Let's count 1 to 5. Ready? Go. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Can I see? May I see your answer? Very good. The answer is 675 or 675. Now for our last number. 1,500. 1,500. Can you please write it in standard form? Ready? Go! 5, 4, 3, 2, one zero may i see your answer okay this is the answer we have one five zero zero or one thousand five hundred who got three checks very good i think you're ready for our exam now so this is how to write the standard form let's go to our word form okay so we have here 356 Please write it in words, 356. Teacher Bell will count 1 to 10. Ready? Go. Time's up. If you are not yet done, you can pause the video. So the answer is 356. So got it correct? Very good. Okay, now for the next number two, we have 428. Please write it in, in word form. 428. Ready? Write. Okay, now may I, again, if you're not yet done, you can pause the video and play it again once you are finished. May I, let's check your work, number two. So this is how to write 428. Who's correct? Please check your work. Very good. Now let's go to our last number. It says here, 1,506. 1,506. Please write the word form. Ready? Go. Ten. Time's up. If you're not yet done again, you can pause the video. So the answer is 1,500 now let's go to our comparing numbers so we have here we use symbols less than greater than and equal to remember you are going to open your mouth as a big number always open and eat the big number okay now i have here some example what is your answer you can use your hand like this like this or like this ready May I see your hand? Very good. The answer is like this. Okay? Eat the number 12. Next number, we have 
Number two, 30 and 30. Please compare. Ready? Show your answer. May I see your answer? Very good. The answer is like this. Okay, next number three, 25 and 65. Ready? Show your symbol. Okay, the answer is like this. Eat the number 65. Next, we have 88 and 18. What is the symbol? Ready? Show your symbol. Very good. The answer is eat the 88. Okay, and the last number we have 78 and 36. 78 and 36. Please show your symbol. Very good. It is eat the number 78. So you know already the comparing numbers. Always eat the big number and do not eat the small number and equal dun sa same. Okay po? Now, let's go to arranging numbers in increasing, going up, and decreasing, going down. Okay po? Remember, increasing from the smallest number, going up to the greatest number. While the decreasing, going from the greatest number, going down to the smallest or least number. Okay po? So now I have here the example of increasing number 104, 135, I arrange it, and 145. Now get your whiteboard or mark or paper and let and answer the number two. Increasing from the smallest number going up. Ready? Teacher Bell will give you 10 seconds. Ready, go, 10. Okay, if you are not yet done, you can pause the video and once you are finished, just play it. For those who are finished, let's check your work. The answer is 239. 432 and 456 okay who got it correct who's correct raise your hand very good okay now let's go to our number three again it is increasing from the smallest number going up to the greatest number ready go 10 Okay, again, if you are not finished, not yet finished, pause the video, okay? So, the answer for those who are done, the answer is 245, 367, and 378. Raise your hand if you are correct. Okay, now let's clap our hands for yourself. Clap, 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 clap. Okay, now... For, let's go to our decreasing number. Erase your whiteboard para may, you have space. Okay, now let's go to our decreasing number. Decreasing number, arranging the numbers from the greatest number going down. Alright? Alright, decreasing going down. So, my example here from 145 down to 135 and down to... 104 the smallest in all three numbers now you are going to answer this one arrange it in decreasing order ready go time's up so, again, if you are not yet done, you can pause the video. So, for those who are finished, let's check your work. We have 456, next 432, next 239. Who got it correct? Who got it? 
Who's correct? Okay, very good. Now, let's go to our number three. Decreasing order from the greatest going down. Let me count you 10 seconds again to answer. Ready? Go! Time's up! If you are not yet done, you can pause the video. But those who are finished, let's check your work. Okay, look. 378, 367, and we have 245. Okay po? So, in your exam, you're gonna do like this. You are going to write the decreasing and increasing. Okay po? So, review practice how to how to arrange the numbers in decreasing and increasing okay po but if you got it already then you are prepared okay po ready na for the exam now let's go to our ordinal numbers okay what is the meaning of ordinal numbers can you please read it can you please read it for teacher bell ready go Very good. Ordinal numbers tell the position of objects. Ordinal numbers can be written in symbols and in words like what you did in your project. So these are our ordinal numbers in symbols and in words. So let's read first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. Okay? So, my question. In the word bell, what letter is first? Pos in the first position. In the word bell, B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. what letter is in the first position? Ready? Think. Five, four, three, two, one. What is the answer? That's right. The first letter is letter B in the word bell. Okay, so our exam is like that. There's a word and you will identify what is the position of the letter dun sa words? Okay po? Okay, now let's go to our money. Money, money, money. Okay? So we have here the Philippine coins. 10 pesos. 5 pesos. Say it with me. 1 peso. 25 centavos. 5 centavos. 1 centavo. Okay, so we have here, these are our Philippine coins. And then, here is our paper bills. Philippine paper bills, we have 20 pesos, 50 pesos, 100 pesos, 200 pesos, 500 pesos, and 1,000 Pesos. Okay, remember what's the symbol for peso sign and centavo sign, right? The peso sign is the letter P with like this, okay, there. And the centavo sign is yung merong C na line, okay po? That's the um, symbol for centavos sign, okay? So we have here 10 pesos and 5 pesos and the other one is 25 centavos so we read it 10 plus 5 we read it 15 pesos the dot you're gonna say and and then read the money the 25 the centavos okay po? so 10 plus 5 we have 15 and 25 centavos so we read or we say like this 15 pesos and 25 centavos and this is how to write the num the money in symbol 
Don't forget the peso sign. Write the 15 pesos and then the period for end. And don't forget to write the 25. But here, no need to write the symbol of centavo sign. Okay po? Sa end ng 25 centavos, do not write the symbol of centavo sign. So this one, we write it like this. 15 pesos and 25 centavos. Okay, now, I'm gonna show you some money. How much is this? 5 plus 5 plus 5. How much? That's right. It is what? Oh, can you please write the amount here of the money? Just write it in your paper or whiteboard. Please write the amount of money. Ready? I will count 1 to 5. So we have 5 pesos, 5 pesos, 5 pesos. And we have here 25 centavos. What is the amount, the total amount of money? Ready? Write in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let me sh If you are not yet done, you can pause the video. But those who are finished, let's check your work. Okay, the answer is like this. Peso sign, 15 pesos and 25 centavos. Now, we have another one. We have 20 pesos and 20 pesos. And we have 2, 5 centavos. Okay, how much? Just write the, what's this? The, cent, the amount or the total amount of money. 20 plus 20 we have. And then 5 plus 5, how much? And then combine together and write the total amount of money. I'll give you, for this one, I'll give you 10 seconds to answer. Ready? Go! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, if you are not yet done again, you can pause this video. So the answer is 40 pesos and 10 centavos. 20 plus 20, we have 40. And then 5 centavos plus 5 centavos, we have 10 centavos. So, how to write the amount of money? Don't forget the peso sign. 40, the 40 pesos, and then the period end, and the 10 centavos. Okay, so you know already about the money, counting the amount of money. So, let us compare this time, not the numbers, but the money. We are going to use the same symbol, less than, greater than, and equal to. So, we have here, can you, you are just going to, um, what's this? Do the less than, greater than, and equal. Okay, but no need to write. Okay, just show it with your, answer it to get with your hands. Okay, so we have here. 1 peso, 1 peso, 1 peso, 1 peso, 1 peso, and 1 peso. How much in all? Can you please say? That's right. This one is 6 pesos. What about the other side? 5 pesos plus 5 pesos. How much? That's right. This one is 10 pesos. Here, we have 6 pesos. The other side, we have 10 pesos. So, what symbol are you going to? Right or to show ready go three what is the answer show your answer with your hand like this okay the answer is like this 10 is greater than you're gonna eat the 10 pesos very good now let's go to our next example okay there so, 5 pesos plus 5 pesos plus 5 pesos. And we have here 10 pesos, 10 pesos, and 10 pesos. So, 3, 5 pesos, how much? 5 plus 5 plus 5, how much? That's right, it is 15 pesos. What about 10 plus 10 plus 10, how much? That's right, it is 30 pesos. So, we have here 15 pesos. And 30 pesos. What symbol are you going to show? Ready? Show your symbol. 
correct. The symbol is eat the 30 pesos. Okay? Eat the 30 pesos. Okay, now let's go to our next oh, paper bills. We have 100 pesos here and 250 pesos. Oh, so, automatic, this one is 100 pesos. And then 50 plus 50, how much? That's right, it is also 100 pesos. So, what symbol are you going to use? Ready? Show. That's right, it is equal. Okay. Now, for our next, we have 100 pesos. The other side, 50 and 20. So, automatic, this one is 100 pesos. How much is 50 plus 20? That's right, it is 70 pesos. 100 pesos on this side and 70 pesos on the other side. So, what is your symbol? How are you going to compare? 170. May I see your answer? Show. That's right. The answer is like this. 100 pesos is greater than 70 pesos. Okay? So, that's all everyone. And I hope you understand our lesson. And see you tomorrow. Bye!